Hello, I wanted to take a short break from drawing to talk about an interesting subject. And this is something that a lot of online portrait artists have experienced, no doubt. Whether they're drawing portraits of people or pets, it doesn't really matter. In addition to a large number of people who will like your drawings or paintings, there will always be a number of people who will refuse to be impressed by your artwork and who will often try to dismiss your portraits as uh, not real art and not having any real value. The more subtle ones uh, will take a jab at you by asking you, well why don't you sometimes try to create something of your own rather than just copy from a picture. That's not a legitimate question because uh, we are not really copying because a uh, human is not a photocopier machine. But I don't want to get ahead of myself, I will address that. But first let me just say about what I think about this whole uh, idea whether something is art or not. Honestly, I have no idea what art is and I don't really care. And I'm not saying that in a mean way because uh, honestly I don't care because I haven't studied art and I... Uh, I have no intention of studying art. I just like to draw. I like drawing. It's my hobby and you should have one too. And I occasionally earn a bit of money from it and that's about it. Now let me address the whole uh, creating something of your own argument uh, and tell you how I would answer it personally. Um, if you were to look at my content online you would see that I have lots of drawings where I created created something other than portraits. For example, if you look at this uh, drawing of a tree in the field, I did study a number of reference photos to create this drawing, but I assure you that there is no such tree in any photo and there is no such field, there is no such arrangement of clouds anywhere. I added or created or modified these elements uh, and I added this fence here to complete my composition etc. So this is no doubt something of my own and other artists whether they draw or paint portraits certainly have lots of uh, artwork like that it's just that people sometimes choose to ignore it. Now uh, the question is whether portraits, if you're focusing mostly on portraits, the question is whether portraits are any less valuable than um, drawings like that, especially realistic or photorealistic portraits even. The answer is no, because e each portrait also has something of your own. If you look at this portrait of Morgan Freeman that I did years ago, it's an old portrait, it's very detailed, and one could say that I try to copy the likeness of Morgan Freeman because I try to arrange all of its all of his facial features properly and add the skin texture that looks realistic, etc. Uh, well, it doesn't really work like that because uh, each time when you're drawing a portrait, uh, you have to ask yourself continuously ask yourself thousands of questions and try to provide thousands of answers and solutions with your pencil. You're constantly asking yourself, uh, what do I see? What do I really see? Uh, how do I interpret it? How do I convey it best? How do I convey it so that uh, the viewer can see what I want them to see? So you see, it's a very complex and long and engaging process that requires all of you and will always have something of your own because those will be your solutions and your answers to those to those questions all right so each portrait even a photorealistic one like this has something of your own because we humans are not photocopier machines we do not create a copy we create our own version uh, of somebody's portrait even when we're trying to achieve likeness uh, that's my take on it. Uh, thank you for watching and listening. 
I'll see you in the next video.